Hi everyone, this is Sarah from SRS Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make my baby pencil. He's about half the size of my regular pencil. In the tutorial, I'll link it below. He uses half the bands, a total of 209. He is a hook only design, so you'll need a hook, plus a stitch marker since we're working in rounds and we want to keep track. You're going to need two eyes. I'm using six millimeter safety eyes that I got off of Amazon, but you can also use bands or beads. Plus you'll need bands. For the eraser, you're gonna need 46. For this metal part in between, you'll need 28. The paint on the outside of the pencil is 98. The color for the wood of the pencil is 33. And then you're going to need five lead colors. So let's get started. We're going to start our eraser with a magic ring. So we're gonna take a band and we're gonna wrap it around our hook three times. So we have three loops on the band. We are gonna pull through six bands through this magic ring. So you take a band on your hook, slide it through. So all three loops are on, put it back on your hook. Then I like to pinch these three to make sure I've got them all and do a slip knot. Then my hook goes back in the middle of those three and I repeat this step. So this is our second band, a slip knot. And go, not only am I making a slip knot, but I'm also putting it, pulling it through the band that was already on my hook. Pull a band through all three loops, back on the hook. Slip knot, pull it through the first band on the hook. Keep going until you have six. If you'd like to make sure that you are where you need to be, you can count. On your hook, you have one two, three, four, five, six. So this is where we're gonna put our hook back in, in the six. And that's where we start our second round. The second round is going to have 12 stitches, so we're gonna double in size, which means we're gonna put two bands in each of the stitches. So here's my first one. Pull it through the stitch, back on the hook, slip knot through both. And I'm gonna put my sti stitch marker right here, because it's telling me where I started. Back in the same stitch, pull another one through. So that's gonna be two. Moving to the next stitch, we're putting two in this. One, two. Moving to the third stitch, one. Back in for the second. Next stitch, two in this one. And move it to the next stitch. Two in this one. And the last stitch, two. So that gives us a total of 12 stitches. And we know we're at the right spot because the next place that we can put our hook is where the stitch marker is. So I'm gonna slide my hook in getting ready for our third round. This round is gonna have 14 stitches on it, so we're only increasing it by two. So we're gonna we're not gonna be following up we're gonna follow a little bit of a pattern. We're gonna do four single stitches and increase another four single stitches, a second increase, <clears throat> and then we'll end with two single stitches. So we're gonna start with four single stitches. So here's my first one. Marker back on. Two. Three. And 
and four. Now in the next stitch, we're gonna do an increase, which means putting two stitches in this stitch, two bits. So here's the first, and then in the same spot, we're gonna put our second. Now we're gonna do four more singles. One, two, three, and four. Adding an extra stitch is gonna give us the curve shape for our eraser. Our next stitch is gonna have two in it. This is another increase. So one, same spot, two. And now we have two stitches left, so we're gonna put singles in there. And that will bring us up to 14. One, two. Our next round is gonna be 14 stitches all around, so one in each. We'll go back to the beginning. We'll pull our first stitch through, and then our marker will go back on, and then 13 more stitches for 14 total. Two, three, four, oops, picked up an extra spot, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen and fourteen. That's our last one. So that that gives us our eraser. Going back into where the stitch marker is. Now we're going to add two rows of the metal color, which is the separation between the eraser and the paint on the outside of the pencil. I'm using Rainbow, brand, Rainbow Loom brand gray. So we're going to do two rows, and each row is going to have 14 single stitches in it. So first, let's add our first stitch. We're going to move our stitch marker. And then we're going to do 13 more stitches around for a total of 14. You'll have to let me know in the comment section below whether or not you like it when I count as I'm doing each of the stitches. Sometimes I like to, to count and sometimes, since I'm glancing over at my pattern or checking to make sure I'm staying under the camera, I get distracted and lose count. <laughs> so sometimes I don't like to count because then I don't want to have to refilm where I have miscounted, even though I know it's the right number of stitches. I don't want you to be confused. So you let me know if you like it's silence or chatting during the rows or if you want me to count. So here we are back. This is our last stitch. Now I need to do one more row. So I'm gonna put my stitch marker under the first stitch on the last row. Pull it through, so this is one, moving the stitch marker, two, three, 
four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, and the last one here, 14. So we did two rows of the metal color. And now we're going to move on to the color of the pencil. Move the gray out of the way. You won't need those anymore. And the color for the pencil that I'm using is this nice purple. And this is Loom. I didn't say it before, but the, the pink that I use for the racer are Rainbow Braid Pink Glitter. I got in that mega kit. Islicious Designs has talked about this before. And this light purple came from, I think it's Loom Bands. No, Wonder Loom, sorry. And those um, were I got from Walmart in like a giant tub. So we are going to do several rounds going straight up for our pencil. So, so I'm pulling through for my first band, moving my stitch marker. And now, so that was one, so we're going to do 14. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and our last stitch, 14. Stitch the hook underneath the stitch marker. That's where we're gonna start our next row. So I'm gonna stop the video here, and I go ahead and make six more rows of the color of the pencil, and then when you're done, I'll see you back here. Welcome back. You should have completed six more rows of your pencil color. So this is what we end up looking like. And now we're going to start the wood color at the top that the lead is secured into. So I'm going to use this uh, light brown color, which I think is Loom Band brand from Hobby Lobby. And we are going to just do one row around for 12. So here's my first stitch. And I'm gonna put my stitch marker, oops, lost it. Put my stitch marker here at this point. Two. Three. Four. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve, 
13, and the last one is 14. And then my hook goes back underneath my underneath my stitch marker. Now at this point we're going to put on the face. So what I like to do is to take my stitch marker off and put it through all three bands that are on my hook just to keep it secure while I'm adding the face on so it doesn't start to come undone. So for the face I'm going to use the safety eyes and let's see you can kind of you just pick a place I like my eyes to be usually two or three stitches apart. When they look, when they when you're happy with them, you can add the backs. So I usually just flip it open, holding them in place. Actually, this guy is so little. I think I might turn him inside out. <clears throat> so let's get my eyes back in. One. And then I'm going to turn them inside out. Oop, I lost an eye. Okay. And then safety eyes are called safety eyes because they have these little plastic backs that keep them in. So you just stick it on there and push. One. I sometimes have hard a hard time pushing them down there we go and then I'm gonna add the second back <clears throat> so there are the safety eyes and then you carefully turn it back inside out and we're gonna add the little mouth couple ways you can do it but the way that I like to do it is to take a ba black band or any color band and give it a snip so I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it through two holes in my face and decide where I like it this little guy's little mouth was kind of crooked on the side and he made a cute little smirk so I'm probably gonna do the same thing with this guy so then, once I find the placement I like, I'm going to turn them, oh, I popped out. Well, that one was actually not put on all the way. Let's get that snapped in. So I'm going to take the end, the two ends, and I'm just going to make a knot. So I'm going to pull it, wrap it around, and make a little knot. Try to slide my knot to the end so I have lots of room to adjust the smile if I need to. And then we're gonna pop it back in. Turn it back around. And there is his little smile. And at this point, we can go ahead and stuff it. So you're gonna need some stuffing. You can use cotton balls. Um, you can buy a bag of fiber fill from a craft store like Joann's or Hancock Fabric. I'm not sure if they have it at Michael's because it's more like a sewing supply. And you stuff it down in there until you're happy with how much stuffing. We're going to do a couple more rows on top, so you want to leave yourself some room. I think that looks good. So now my hook is going to go back inside where my stitch marker is so I can start doing it the next round and for this round we are going to do 11 stitches and we're going to do a combination of single stitches and decreases so our first stitch is we're going to do two single crochets so a single stitch putting the, the marker back on we're going to do a second single and then we're going to decrease. So for decreasing, we're going to take the first stitch here on our hook and we're going to hold it and we're going to grab the next one. 
So now we have two stitches on our hook. So when we pull a band through, we're going to pull it through that first one and through the second one. So now those two stitches have become one. And we're going to do that two more times. We're going to do a single crochet, single, a second single, and then we're going to do the decrease. So we're grabbing the first one and the second one, pulling it through both of those. We're going to do it one more time. So here's our first, our single, and then our second single. And then we're going to do that decrease again. Grab one, grab two. And then we're going to end with one single. And we're back at the beginning, hook under for the next stitch. This is the row we're going to have eight stitches, so we're going to do some decreasing again. And this time, instead of two and then a decrease, we're going to do one. So single, and then we're going to do a decrease. So we're grabbing one and then two for a decrease. And then we're going to do a single again, and then a decrease. We're going to grab one, and then the next one. We're almost done with this whole guy. Another single. And then another decrease. So we're going to take one and two. Decrease. And then we have one more stitch left, and we're going to put a single stitch in that one. Okay, back to the beginning. Now we're going to finish with our lead color. I'm going to use black. So we're actually going to do only decreases. So I have my hook under my stitch marker. So I'm going to actually going to scoop up another one. So I have two, and I'm going to start with a decrease, pulling it through both. And I'm going to do it again. It's really tight under here, but if you, you can stretch out your hole, just make sure you can see it. So here's one, and then there's the second. I'm going to do a decrease. Oops. Okay. Well, Hold on a second. I gotta start over. So, yeah. Here's one, and there's two. These bands that I use for the wood are very slippery, even though they're opaque. So, I'm gonna do another decrease. So, there's one stitch, and then I'm grabbing the next one for another decrease. And I'm going to do one more. I'm going to pull through this one. And then I'm going to go through the first bla black stitch on this row. It's very tight. But if you can manage to pull it and get your hook under, we're going to pull a band through all of it. And then this can be instead of doing the last crochet, we can just go ahead and do a slip knot here. And that will give us our point. There we go. And then I'm just going to dig out my stitch marker and I'm going to hide this tail. Let's hide it back in the back. So my guy is not happy. We need to make him happier. He just came to life. You need to be happier. There, we're happier now. There we go. Now we have brothers and sisters. <laughs> and we're all done. So this is our mini 
or a baby pencil. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my designs, please give it a thumbs up. And I suggest you subscribe to my channel because I've got about nine other designs that I'm waiting to film and put out for you. So thanks for watching and keep looming.